Hello, everybody. This is Petey from Bergzerk Arcade at bergzergarcade.net. And today we're going to continue on. I believe this is number... Are we at 30? It feels like a 30. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and create our new class, the item category class. And this is where we're going to be sticking a lot of this stuff. And that way there, we just have to have a list of different, well, item categories here. So let's go ahead. We'll jump into Unity. And we'll start here. So I'm going to come into, I guess, Burger Arcade, Item System, Scripts, right into the editor. We're going to go ahead. We'll create a new C. Ooh, nope. We're going to the object editor. We'll go ahead. We'll create a C sharp script. And I'm going to call it IS. I'm just deciding if I want to call it object category. Maybe that'd be a better idea. And just a quick look. Make sure I spelt it right. Looks good to me. We'll go ahead. We'll save this off. And the first one that I am going to do will be the armor one. And we'll have to go ahead and make this generic later to, well, we're going to redo the, the weapon one using it as well. But let's go ahead, put us into the same namespace here. I'm deciding if I need to use this class outside of the editor. And for right now, it's purely just meant for the editor itself. So I'm going to stick it in the editor namespace. And let's go ahead. We'll just jump right here. And we'll start off this stuff here. It's going to be contained inside of here. Except we're not going to be creating a weapon database. We're going to be creating armor. And again, like I said before, we will be making this generic. And these are no longer constant strings. Uh, we're not even going to need that one. Uh, actually, everything here is going to be protected now. Now, I'm not sure if I've actually covered protected before, uh, but the way we've been using it so far is private and public. Public means that these variables are accessible outside of this class to anything that's well, has access to this class. And private means that only things inside of this class can access it. Now protected means that it's it's like private in the sense that nothing outside of this class can access it, but anything that directly inherits from it can access it and it becomes private in that class that, that inherits. Hopefully that understands. If not, Google. And we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna put this in front of everything. And this can actually just be switched to a get set now. And same thing here. Yeah, we'll just as a get set. And I'm just going to comment that out for now. And the same thing here. And this one here, we're actually going to create into a function. Or proper. Um, well, first off, it's got to be public because we're going to be calling it from outside of the class. It will be returning a string. And I'm going to call it database full path. And inside here, all I'm going to do is return this here. Except we'll have to go ahead and put the new variable names in. So we actually don't want this like this anymore. We're going to refactor that. Uh, since it's not a constant, I don't like to use uppercase for it. So I'm just actually going to call this DB name. And I actually meant to capitalize the N. It's funny when I'm doing constants, I, I seem to be so much more verbose with the name. I don't really notice that. This would be DB path. We'll go ahead and save those off. Uh, we can actually go ahead and get rid of this now. And why is this white? Is that just model develop being model develop? Ah, oh, we forgot the semicolon there and here. There we go. And let's actually go ahead have that over. Let's put the comments in here. Now, I generally don't put the comments in the code logs because it just takes up a lot of time and I'm explaining it while I go along anyway. I, I'm just expecting you to be commenting this stuff as you go along. You have the ability to pause the video if you need to. But I am going to quickly just comment these ones here. So name of the database. Actually, if we have a reference to the database, do we really need to have this? Well, we'll just go ahead. We'll, we'll just keep going down and just keep following this pattern. All right, so let's come down. Anything else to do with the database down here? On enable. 
So we want one of those in our classes as well. So copy, I'm gonna come in, it's gotta be public. It's gonna be called from outside. And let's see, database SQL, uh, we're gonna to wanna to get rid of this. And all we're doing is putting the actual check for this database to make sure that it's you know what it's supposed to be. And then in here, we're gonna be calling, uh, for instance, when we make the armor category, which we'll inherit from this. We can just say you know, armor category dot enable, and that'll actually go ahead and call that enable. So for every category we have, we just simply call it enable. Pretty sweet, but we do have to fix this. So this is DB path, DB name, proper spacing here for me. I like my threes. And let's go ahead, we'll jump back in. Well, let's take a look. Uh, we do have something here. Gonna switch this over to an armor database. Now, if you're actually looking to jump ahead before I actually publish the videos on how to make this a little bit more generic, go ahead and actually take a look at our scriptable object database script. There's uh, a couple of hints, let's say near the bottom of this. <laughs> if you wanna work ahead. Okay, so we got that done. We did get rid of the errors, right? Yep, let's keep going. Uh, we do have an on GUI, and we are calling the list view. And again, I want to be able to call like down here, armor dot list view and armor dot item details. So that means we do need some public methods for this. So let's create them. Now I might actually go ahead and make these partials outside of this particular script itself. But for now, we'll go ahead and we'll put the actual methods in here. So the, since they are being called from outside, we gotta make them public. Uh, they're not gonna return anything right now. To be honest, I'm not actually gonna put any code in here right now either. So public void, was it details? Detail view? Uh, item details, that's what it was. I want to keep the naming the same. Aha. I actually caught that one before, you, before I went over to Unity. All right, so I think that's everything that we actually need to implement from this script. Now, when we come into details, the first thing that bugs me is the fact that I have this enum up here that only has two states. And generally, if you only have two things in your enum, since I'm using it as a state, I really should just use a Boolean value. You know, um, instead of being display state, it could be uh, display details and just be true or false. But I don't want to deal with that yet. Uh, we're going to be work continue working on this object category. So here's where we grab the item details. And this is going to stay the same. And I think this is probably where we're actually gonna go ahead and switch the code up. <laughs> no pun intended, in case switch. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and implement this part inside of our IS object category. Uh, let me just take a look here. I, again, this will be moved into IS object category. And some of the stuff has to be just reformatted. So we just have the skeleton, the structure, and the data comes from this other class. That's what we're after. Okay, well, we're doing armor, so let's go ahead, we'll stick to that. And before we do that, let's go ahead, we'll just take a look at the list view here. Again, this is just structure. This is stuff we want to stay in here. Uh, when we actually get to the list view, the list view, as far as the structure goes, is all the same. We don't need to change that for each different category. All we need to change is what's being displayed. So worst case scenario, we can copy pretty much just all of this code up. But let's go ahead and head over to Unity and make those other two scripts that I wanted to make, one for the list view, one for the details. Object, so we have is object category, is object category list view that's a mouthful 
I'm actually just going to copy that and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to expand this since I need to see these a little bit better. We'll go ahead, open that up. Uh, I'm going to close scriptable objects. I don't need it just yet. And I do want to make one more script here. And I'm just going to call this details. And I'll go ahead and open that one up as well. Great. So I'm going to come here, make this a partial class now. And just like we did here, if we come up to the top, where we made everything partial classes, we're going to do the exact same thing with the one we're working on now. I'm going to actually grab this part, copy it, we'll go here. And let's just get rid of all of this. We'll go ahead, we'll post it in. And apparently I did not copy the next line down. There we go. And we'll need two closing parentheses. And we can actually copy this again and put that in here. And we'll go ahead, we'll save that off. Uh, this one here, we're gonna have the list view in here. So let's go ahead, we'll copy that method over now. Because we know what this is for. And we'll save that off. And we'll also come in and grab the details. It sounds like my son's getting a little anxious to do something. So I'm going to end this one here. And well, let's make sure we have no errors coming up. And we do. We'll, we'll take care of these first. And I didn't save this script. Go ahead and save that off. We'll come back in. Both should disappear. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. i got to go take that set up. Get him his exercise. Just so we can uh, have a little silence a little bit later on tonight. And get a little bit more work done. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>